Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will cover interview questions around services and dependency injection. I know this can be covered in a single topic, but I break it into multiple interview questions because my goal is not just to give you knowledge, but also to help you in cracking interviews. Hey, my name is Happy and I help candidates in cracking interviews. This is the list of the interview questions we are going to cover today. Soon I will create part 3 of Angular interview series and if you want that video, then press like and subscribe button right now. So without wasting time, let's start with the first question. Explain services with example. Suppose in our single page application, we have two components. One is login component and another one is menu component. Now, if any error will occur in these components, then developer have to log that error, right? For that, we will have to write some lines of error logging code inside both of these components. So you see, the same code of error logging will be at two places. And if we have 100 components in our application, then we have to place that code in 100 places. So now, in order to avoid that repeated lines of codes, we will create a single service which will be like error logging service and then we will put that common code inside this file only. And then we will inject this service in both of these components. And finally, this error logging code is no more required. That's it. So the simplest answer is a service is a TypeScript class and a reusable code which can be used in multiple components. And service can be implemented with the help of dependency injection. Therefore, in short, services are used for reusability purpose. The above example is of code reusability. But if you have some user data or any kind of data, then also you can create a common or centralized user data service and then remove the direct user data code from the components. So this is the second benefit of service. This is the answer of this question. In next question, we will see how to create the service and then how to inject it into the components. How to create service in Angular? The answer is simple. Open terminal and write command ng generate service and then service name logging. This will create the service in your Angular application. Let me show you the practical now. In your project under source folder, first create a common folder. Name it services or shared or anything where you can keep all your services. Then open terminal, go inside the folder services, type cd services press enter, write command ng generate service logging and press enter. This will create a service with name logging.service.ts inside the service folder. Here for now ignore this at the rate injectable. This is introduced in Angular 8 and I will explain it use uh, explain it use in an upcoming question. Now here inside the service, we will put our common error logging code, which will be then distributed to all the components. Now how to use this service in components? Suppose we have two components, login component and menu component. And here inside the constructor, we have the same error logging code. Why I put that inside the constructor? Because constructor will be automatically invoked in the component. But yes, you can place this code anywhere else also. Now let's put these login and menu component inside the app.module and then bootstrap it along with the app module. Now if you, you run the application in browser, you can see the app component, login component and the menu component on the page. And if I inspect the console, then here you can see the error logging statement from the constructor. Now we will go back to the code and remove the error logging from the component and put it inside the service method which will access by the components. Now we have to use service here in the login components. For that, one way is to create the instance of login service class and then call the method like this. 
This will do the job and if you see the browser then you are now getting the error logging statements again from the logging service. But 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 this is a wrong way to use the service. Why? Because in this case if you are unit testing your components independently then you have to include these services also for the unit testing. But you use dependency injection then you can unit test these components independently from the services. This is one benefit. There are some more benefits also which are related with interfaces and class and which will be beneficial if your Angular application is very big in future. For now, you just remember we will always use dependency injection for injecting the service inside the components. In next question, I will explain how to this dependency injections works. How to use dependency injector with services in Angular. In the previous question, we have learned how to create a service and then how to use service in the component by creating the instance of the service. But this is not the most optimal way as this is not good for unit testing and other things. So let's comment this code. Now let's see how to use dependency injection. I know it sounds quite complex, but trust me, it's a very simple process and a three step process. First step is to create the provider as the service name. With this, your component decorator will know that OK, our component will might use this logging service at some place inside the component. It's like registering the service with the component. In second step, inside the constructor parameter, create a new property and then assign the service type here like this. You can name the property as per your comfort, but the type name will be the service type only. Ok, now your service is ready for use anywhere inside this component. How to use it finally? With this code here, this dot property name dot method name of the service. This is the third and the final step. Here, this keyword will refer the current component only. Now here is a suspense. If I will comment this provider, then still this dependency injector will work. This is because we have provided the provider somewhere else and that we, we, we call hierarchical dependency injector. And this will be the topic of the next question. What is this? And we will cover this in the next question. In previous questions, we have seen how to create a service and then how to use the service in the component with the help of dependency injection. Now let's see what is hierarchical dependency injector. We have many, many parent child components in our applications, right? As per Angular, if we will inject the service here in the parent component with the help of provider, then it will be available to all its child components. And if we will inject the service here, then it will be available to child's components, but not to the parent and to the sibling components. So that is the hierarchical dependency injection. Now let's see the code. In code, we can set the provider of the service at three places. The first place is at the component level where we will set the provider inside the component like this. Then this service will be available inside the whole component and also the child components of this particular component but not to the parent components or to the any other component. It's not available. The service will be. The second place where we can set the service is inside the module. Here by default, you will see this provider property. You can set the service name here like this and then this service will be available to all the components of this module and the child components of these particular modules. No need to put the provider in each and every component separately now. So this module will done the job for all the components itself. Then the third place is putting the provider inside the injectable decorator of the service itself. Like this provided in root. This we also call providing the service at root injector level. This introduced in Angular 8. 
and you will get this as the default provider and with this it means your service will be available throughout the application to all the components of the application so in a way this is the best and the default technique of the angular uh, setting the provider so this is all the information about the hierarchical dependency injection if you have any queries then ask me in the comment section and I will be very happy to answer them. It is a revision question. What is provider in Angular? A provider is an object declared inside decorators which inform Angular that a particular service is available for injecting inside the components. We already saw, th saw this but let's see quickly where we can set providers in our application. First at the module level like this inside the add ng module decorator and then this service will be available to the module components. Then next at the application root level like this inside the service and injectable decorator and then this service will be available to all the application components. And then at this component decorator level like this and then this service will be available to this particular component and its child components. This is the short and simple answer of this question. If you have any queries then put in the comment section and I will be very happy to answer as my name is Happy. Now we have completed interview questions around services and dependency injection. In part 3 and above, I will cover interview questions on topics like routing, observable, HTTP interceptors and angular lifecycle hooks. If you want this video, then write him Mukambo in the comment section and press like and subscribe button. At the end, good luck for your interview, do your best and never ever give up. All the best for your career. Thank you.